Hello, I'm Leonard Andrews. I'm chairman of the National Arts Program. And what we have to show you here is a fantastic exhibit of more than a thousand pieces of original artwork from 700 municipal employees in the city of Philadelphia, our pilot project. This National Arts Program is indeed a national program. It's to discover the indigenous art of America. We feel fundamentally that all people have a creative talent of whatever level. We want to discover it. We want them to come forth with their talent. And in this show, you will see the results of this effort. We're so proud of the show. Come in and look at it with us. The National Arts Program is a new program aimed at bringing forth art indigenous to America, where artists of all levels of talent have an opportunity to show their work and gain recognition and training. The idea began in 1972 to develop a national program that would discover and encourage the growth of artistic talent, create a venue for bringing forth that talent, and capture the art that speaks for the nation. In the spring of 1985, the pilot project was established in Philadelphia, drawing exhibitors from members and their families from five public employee unions. The unions, three AFSCME district councils, the police and firefighters, are effective in providing the program with art that is representative of our country. The artistic talent that exists there now has the opportunity for recognition. Their pollen program here in Philadelphia, I think it's a pretty nice thing because it gives a lot of um, artists that haven't been discovered yet a um, moment of glory. I do a theme that's called World of the Little People, and it's basically a free form of art that I call wire sculpturing. More than 700 contributors registered for the Philadelphia show, mostly amateur artists, submitting over 1,400 pieces of original work in seven different categories. Paintings, drawings, watercolors, color photography, black and white photography, crafts, and sculpture. As the program expands in the coming years, entries will be open to members and families representing other unions. Eventually, virtually everyone in America will be eligible to participate in the National Arts Program. From my perspective, this is an absolutely extraordinary phenomenon. Uh, I'm used to dealing with amateurs, intermediates, and professional artists every day in the week because I run an art school, a free art school for working adults. Um, but what's surprising and extraordinary about this kind of a show is that it brings so many people together from so many different walks of life with so many different frames of reference. Through Mr. Andrews Foundation, these people are going to be given the encouragement to go on and learn something else. Um, whether they're rank amateurs, intermediates, or professionals, they'll be given an opportunity either to broaden their skills, refine their skills, or learn something entirely different that they didn't have an opportunity to do before. Philadelphia was the ideal city for launching the National Arts Program because of its high interest and support of art and its cross-section representation of talent found through the various unions. The decision was confirmed with the enthusiastic support of the city administration and the local unions. I want to express my appreciation to Leonard uh, Andrews and, and his foundation uh, for using this city uh, as a pilot, uh, uh, you know, we are accustomed to being first in a lot of things. And so I'm pleased that uh, this is the first example of city employees uh, demonstrating their skills. And I just think that everything here is so exciting. And I want the whole world to come here and see uh, what's in here, because I've been most impressed uh, with what I've seen. I want to congratulate the scholarship winners and the uh, uh, prize winners who are here. and and said to them that, uh, that you have real talent, and I, and I hope that we can share all that talent uh, with the entire city, the entire region, and of course the entire nation. The Junior League of Philadelphia provided volunteers to set up and staff the event. We feel the Junior League of Philadelphia is excited about supporting this kind of program, an opportunity for artists in the area of Philadelphia to have to show their artwork where otherwise they would have no opportunity. Sally? 
As Jean says, we're extremely pleased to have this opportunity to help with this effort. From the Junior League's perspective, it addresses all of our focus areas, the arts, children, education, and social services. From a broader perspective, from the Junior League as a whole nationally, it helps us demonstrate the effectiveness of trained volunteers. In the pilot project, all the contributors received a certificate and their work was displayed at the exhibit. A competition was also established in three classifications, amateur, intermediate, and professional. First, second, and third place prizes of $500, $300, and $100 were awarded, along with scholarships for continuing education. Special training courses are being planned with major art schools geared to the talent levels and art forms of the contributors. I'm here because my dad stood on a corner of Broaden Locust and Bro uh, Broaden Walnut for about 20 years looking up at City Hall and one day I decided to paint his view of City Hall. It's hanging here in the National Arts Program exhibit and is being considered by the foundation as a part of their permanent collection, which absolutely thrills me. Uh, I got involved with the program because when my dad told me about it, it just seemed like a fantastic way of, of watching Philadelphia as a community come together and show its best side. In 1986, the National Arts Program will expand to six other cities, following the format established in Philadelphia. As it reaches the national level, plans call for state or regional competitions leading to a national exhibit. At that time, the opportunity to see the exhibits would be available to most of the urban areas of the country and a significant portion of America's population. I think it's wonderful. It gives everybody an opportunity. It's, it's given me an opportunity to find myself. And I, and I have a lot of stuff worth for this. Just being part of it, even if I didn't win, it's given me um, a new outlook on life, a new beginning uh, it's a new, for me. The program is designed to give undiscovered artists a forum to showcase their talent and expose art to the greatest number of people. Initially funded by the Leonard E. B. Andrews Foundation, a nonprofit organization, the National Arts Program also has a board of advisors made up of artists, museum and cultural directors, and educators from around the country. We are talking about tapping the great talent that we have in this country, and it's something that I've been interested in all my life. In fact, I'm an example of being given an opportunity to express myself as a working artist. And so to be able to work in a program like this, not only in Philadelphia where we started out with this pilot project, but also to expand it throughout the country, really is one of the most challenging things I've experienced in my professional life. With the Philadelphia Pilot Project leading the way, the National Arts Program will expand to the national level in five years. Artists will be given the opportunity of recognition with a program that showcases the work of undiscovered talent in America. Every contributor will receive a certificate and be eligible for prizes and scholarships. By encouraging the participation of union members and their families, the program is an exhibition of our country's indigenous art. As the program reaches more people in the coming years, it will provide a platform to encourage greater appreciation of art. The National Arts Program, where everyone is a winner.